So, uh, after the long hiatus, you decided to come back <laughs> to the public, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. Now, uh, I understand, though, that uh, during your time away from mm -hmm. show business, you mm -hmm. had a surgery because you had trouble yeah, with my your vocal cord. Vocal cord. my vocal cord. What happened? Um, my husband's um, opinion is the, um, is the punishment for me. It's the punishment for, for. Um, because I started to teach my children. I have three daughters, and I was so so um, 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 caring about them. Um, I want to teach everything what I I know, mm. like uh, playing piano, singing, Sing. and I want <laughs> I want one of them to be like me as a singer or actress. I just imagine. Mm -hmm. I just um, uh, it's too far away. Uh, I, now I understand it's, it's uh, something that you cannot control. But at that time, I was so wrong to to teach my daughter's piano. So I, I, I'm so sorry for her to learn piano from me at the very beginning. <laughs> so I, I, I kept um, um, talking to them, um, uh, teaching them the, the, um, the principles of our lives, uh, the trying to get them um, disciplined. So I, I talk to them so often. That is the problem mm. which um, came to my vocal cord. And that's why my husband said it's a punishment, because I talk too much. Are so you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, because, it's not because of singing. Is it okay now? Uh, after, the I, after the surgery, I was so depressed because mm. I, I thought I'm going to lose my voice. and the. Uh, the doctor asked me to t keep quiet for one month. So for that whole month, I started to learn to um, write my message to everybody, and I was very disciplined. I actually, not to I, talk. Yeah, mm -hmm. not to talk, and only by mm -hmm. written messages. Mm -hmm. So after that, I discovered my voice had um, mm, is changed. Um, I used to like carpenters. I used to like to sing their songs. Um, maybe some songs with lower key because my voice, like um, when I sing Once in the Night or Graduation Tears, my voice was so um, weak and uh, soft, mm -hmm. and I was not strong enough to sing some um, rock, maybe, and, and lower key like carpenters or stronger, powerful like. Um, Linda Ronster, mm -hmm. um, but I was only asked to sing like Olivia Newton-John, ONJ <laughs> at that time. So I actually I am getting tired of singing ONJ song, and that's that style. So after the surgery, I I have a miracle that my my range has expanded. been widened, uh -huh. expanded, uh -huh. expanded. So I can sing lower key, maybe oh, two keys. Oh. Um, two keys lower than the original one. So it was a blessing in disguise. Yes, yes. Uh, it was a um, gift unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. I never expect my I can sing Carpenter's song. When I was young, I listened to the radio. Oh. It's it, actually E. It's very, low, mm -hmm. it's very low for ladies. And I think um, Karen Carpenter is so gifted to have such kind of sexy, sexy voice, So which I have been le um, longing for oh. for my whole life, mm -hmm. so and now you have it. Not that sexy, <laughs> but uh, at, at least mm -hmm. I can touch the E when <clears throat> when I was young and when I say like only yesterday. Um, all of these songs I love so much mm. because the melody are, are so nice and the presentation, everything is so perfect, and their chorus was um, the best the best things in the world mm. which can easily touch everybody so I have been longing to have such kind of voice so I, I tried in my own album mm. my producer asked me to lower and lower my my, my voice the, in the new album in my new released, album uh -huh. there's one song which is very low and I try to express um, the feeling of the song with a very quiet mm -hmm. and, and different way, mm -hmm. in a different way. Well, actually, there mm -hmm. was a showcase event for Chelsea Chan's new album recently, and we sent our cameras out to bring back some images. Let's take a look.
说什么，就是 I don't care， 就是这个意思里面的意思，就是 I don't care what they say。I'm going to bring my music to you. So uh, I guess that a lot of Korean fans have been waiting for you to come out, and and I believe that you have a fan club here, which you don't have in Hong Kong. Or I China. I I had a fan club in Hong Kong mm. before before I got married, and um, I am so surprised to discover the website, the Chow Se Chan Cafe. Mm -hmm. uh, here in somebody Korea. told me about this cafe in uh, in Korea. So I assessed into this website and found so many pictures. There are thousands, <laughs> a thousand pictures of my own and their messages, uh, which made me hesitate to to um, write to them mm. because they are so so loving, so um, so I can say loyal to me, but I don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt them at that mm -hmm. time. That was um, maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, when somebody told me about this website, and I, I was supposed to to write them a message because uh, they sent me a message um, telling me if I, I happen to, to find this website, if I, if I happen to read the messages in the website, please, Chelsea. Um, come back to me or just send us a message um, and tell us that you are reading our messages mm -hmm. so so they won't be um, disappointed mm -hmm. so I hesitated to write this messages because I I I don't want them to be disappointed because my my face and my outlook looks so different <laughs> <laughs> from the movie and it May be very shocking for them if if one day I I tell them I'm going to see you I'm going to meet you, uh, so I I can't I can't accept uh, people to be disappointed because of my my face or my appearance. So it took me some time, maybe several months, for for me to 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 actually write to, to, them. to mm -hmm. argue mm -hmm. in, to have this um, argument inside my heart. And finally, I wrote my first message to to my fans in the fan club, and telling telling them that I I read the messages and I was so touched, and <laughs> oh, <laughs> thinking about your fans, uh, it's making you cry, isn't it? Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> they gave me a lot of support. And uh, some some of them even wrote lyrics and do the translation mm. uh, from English lyrics to Korean, so that um, um, the Korean people can understand the the lyrics. And actually, that is the feeling from my heart. I want to tell everybody how uh, how my life was and how um, uh, my dream mm -hmm. I'm going to achieve. Uh, um, uh, my motivation, my dreams, my um, my future. Mm. Well, that's yeah. why the album is titled, I guess, "Fly." Fly our, our dreams, dreams. Yeah. because yeah. everybody has um, one's dream mm. um, in the heart. Maybe mm -hmm. they want to achieve. My dream is to pass my music to to everyone. Um, maybe they. They can't understand the lyrics, but the melody. I I think 
they will understand what I'm trying to tell. Well, you worked together with a lot of Korean artists yes, too on yes, that album, yeah. so mm -hmm. uh, they are just fantastic because all the songs are written by me, but um, um, I, my voice it's um, soft. So uh, actually, I wrote some um, rock music mm -hmm. and R&B and, and something that I can't sing. There's some songs mm -hmm. I can't sing, so I'm asking um, the my record company to to find some Korean artists so that we can have a crossover, and they suggested uh, Drunken Tiger mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, Iruma, Iruma and yes. uh, S J right. to sing a cover version um, um, of Graduation Tears in um, in Korean mm -hmm. language, mm -hmm. and. They did a lot of um, different things to the song, like Iruma, and his style of playing piano is um, totally different from mine, mm -hmm. uh, because I, I, I'm old-fashioned, mm -hmm. and his music um, is so soft and um, I, I, it, it's full of mm -hmm. illusions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can, he can give you some some space to for you to imagine the song, so we worked happily together in the studio, and uh, now he's in the navy, mm -hmm. navy mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. So right. Iruma, if you are if you are um, watching this uh, this TV program, say Hello. hi to you. <laughs> well, <laughs> I miss you so much. <laughs> while we're at it, uh, since we're running out of time, would you like to say a quick word of thanks to your fans out there too? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I I have already did. Mm -hmm. You can see my expression from the from the TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, every time I think of you, I cannot control myself uh, of um, holding my uh, holding back my tears because I I'm really um, thankful to all of you um, making my dreams <laughs> come true. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, joining us today, and I wish you the best of luck with your uh, new album. We hope to see more of you in Korea from now on. Yes, I try to come more often and sing more songs to, to the people I love and the people who love me. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, watching Ms. Chan get teary-eyed uh, in appreciation of her fans uh, touched my heart. And, and I think it is uh, this... Uh, a sensitive side about her that has enabled her to write all these beautiful songs that are loved to this day. That's it for this edition of Heart to Heart. I'll be back with more next time.